told you that this lunch time I wanted to share something about moving from wilderness to the promised land. Anybody remember that promise? I, I, I want us to to be a kind of people that are determined to leave the wilderness. And when I talk about the wilderness, I mean being in the place when you live for you just have just enough just enough for the day. Eh? In your pocket there is money that is just enough for the day. Like at home there is food that is just enough for the day. You know, when they were in the wilderness, they were depending on manna from heaven. And uh, that manna was for just that day. Anybody remembers that? Anybody has ever read that story? That manna was for just that day. Uh, just that day. Mm. You know, the manna was for just that day. There are some guys who tried to keep it and it went bad. <laughs> some guy wanted to be wise. He tried to stalk. When they tried to stalk, the manna went bad because it was for that day. Now, when a, when a Christian is in the manna stage or manna phase or in the wilderness, or if a church is full of uh, believers in the wilderness, testimony time will always sound like this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. I thank God. I was there. I didn't have breakfast. I closed my eyes. I believed God. And I opened the door. And somebody had dropped some bread outside the door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. After breakfast, I didn't know what I was going to do. Then I believed God. I didn't know where lunch was going to come from. And uh, I believed God. And then I remembered. There's a brother I hadn't called for a long time. And I called him. And hallelujah. He sent me 20,000 mobile money. Hallelujah. We clap. Glory to God. Next Sunday, brother comes back. Praise the Lord. I thank God. Even today, I didn't know how I was going to make it to church. But I was there. And somebody mistakenly, somebody mistakenly sent money on my mobile money. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then another person comes and says, I thank God. I was there. And somebody accidentally put money on my account. Glory to God. So, the believer is living by accidental deposits on their account. Uh, accidental deposits on their mobile money. Uh, they are hoping somebody, somebody's money falls out of their pocket. They are living on manna miracle money every day but the problem miracle money is okay and i love it also when i get miracle money sometimes the problem with miracle money is that such such miracle money is not it's not easy to share it with others it's it's not easy to be a blessing mother because the food comes and it is just what you need for lunch. You can't share it with a neighbor. <laughs> miracle money, it's difficult. When you get miracle, when it drops in your account, it is just what you want. Nothing more. Mm. Nothing more. Now, 
child of God, I believe that that is for a season. It should not be forever. God would like you to live in a place of abundance. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, I think verse 7, that God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that at all times, having all that you need, you shall abound. You shall abound in every good work. So God is able to make his grace abound to you, that, that you have abundance abundance for every good work. I believe that is where God wants us to be. You see, when they entered the promised land, the manna ceased. They stopped waiting for manna and they started eating the fruit from the land. You find that in Joshua chapter 5 verse 10 to 12. Are you with me, children of God? Is this making sense? God would like you to live in abundance. Now, uh, let me tell you why you need to live in abundance. I want to ask you, I was reading something yesterday and I got a shock. <laughs> something shocked me yesterday. I want to share it with you and then you tell me. I want to ask you uh, a few questions. Eh? Now, assuming that uh, let's assume that you earn maybe 500,000 so the tithe on that money maybe a million shillings the example is actually so in the book was uh, of a million shillings if you earn a million Uganda shillings okay the tithe on that one is how much is a hundred thousand so that tithe belongs to who <laughs> the tithe belongs to who I'm, I'm talking to people who, who give the tithe not the ones who eat it it belongs to god okay so would you say that uh, that means the a hundred thousand on that one million is not yours okay now if you pay one hundred and ten thousand for on that one million, you pay one hundred ten thousand to DSTV for your uh, for the bouquet you have. Eh? Let's say you pay a hundred and ten thousand. So that a hundred and ten thousand, who does it actually belong to? Is it is it yours or it belongs to Mark Joyce? <laughs> Answer me. Answer me. Even if you're shocked, it's okay. We we have come from a million minus a hundred thousand. We have subtracted, let's say, a hundred thousand. We are now at, uh, at eight hundred thousand. So now the food, uh, the food that you, the, the food that you spend, the food, the money you spend on food. Let's assume you spend three hundred thousand you go to the market you buy tomatoes you buy irish you buy what so the money that three hundred thousand is whose that three hundred thousand is now in whose pocket uh, the, the three hundred thousand which you have spent on food is in whose pocket it is for the market vendors eh? it's for the market vendors now uh, of course your friend has a party and you have contributed a hundred thousand so the hundred thousand you have contributed belongs to who belongs to who who is going to use it your friend <laughs> to the party okay now we are at how much now I was shocked I was shocked and then uh, of course you know you have to watch YouTube uh, TikTok and uh, then uh, you know so you have to spend data you're spending 500,000 buying MTN data so no 50,000 so the, 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 that 50,000 belongs to who belongs to whom? to MTN belongs to MTN. 
And of course, we have not talked about your water. Your water. And you know how you use water from the morning. Eh? Uh, from the morning, you know how we use water. And uh, yeah, so so you spend, your water bill is 30,000. So that 30,000 belongs to whom? Uh, belongs to whom? To, to, to national water. Uh, in the meantime, you haven't dressed up yet. <laughs> you haven't shocked. You haven't dressed up yet. You haven't put on shoes yet. You haven't paid rent, actually. Rent rent is uh, 200,000. And you're a mighty man of God. You have to live in a nice place of a mighty man of God or a mighty woman of God. So the rent is, let's say, 250,000. Because you stay in a place which is, you know, good for a mighty man of God. So, the, the, that money that you pay for rent belongs to who? Belongs to who? So, <laughs> so now, which one is your money? Which one is your money? Where is your money? Like, how much are you worth? How much are you worth at the end of the day? <laughs> Can I continue, Becky? Maybe I continue. I continue. I continue. I haven't talked about soap and the uh, homo. I, I, I have not talked about. Uh, I have not talked about. <laughs> Uncle so and so who has whom they have just called you that he has died. You have to send something. Uh, do you see why we really need to move from manna to abundance? This is a shock. I was shocked. I was shocked. And the author told us in the book, eh, he told us a statement which shocked me. This whole week, Moses Mukisa has been shocking me. He said, at the end of the day, the only money that is really yours is that which you have saved for investment. So, this person we have been talking about of one million, how much have they saved? How much have they saved? How much money do they have? Do, do, do they have any money? Yeah, do they have any money? You see why we need that. Of course, I have not talked about the money lender. I have not talked about the money lender. I have not talked about the, the other loan also. So, the fees I didn't talk about. I was too shocked to talk about the fees and what. That is why we need to prosper. That is why we need God. We need the blessing of God. That's why I tell you we need to change economies. We need to get into the kingdom economy. That is why you need to say, God, I, I need this blessing that makes a man rich and adds no sorrow. That's why you need to, to start dealing with leakages because there are constants. There are... <laughs> There are constants which come looking for, which which you have to. There are people who you're carrying their money. You're just carrying their money. Eh? You're carrying like you're like a bullion van, bullion van for some people. Oh Jesus, bullion van for some people. You carry it, take it there. 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 So if if that is the case, then may the Lord op the Lord needs to open my eyes that I get more ideas for wealth creation. I can't I can't stay on one stream of income because you see how it has all gone. The Lord needs to open my idea. I was telling in the morning the things they taught us that you know. Study, finish, get to university, get a job, uh, sit in a certain office, and you're paid at, a certain, at the end of the month. My friend, 
that kind of education they gave us, they taught us that you get money one way, but you can see the money we get with one way, how it is all going, how it is all going. God needs to open, at the end, during this seminar, you need to say, Lord, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my mind. Even if you have to start selling belts, even if you have to start selling some what, even if you have to, you know, when you're going to the workplaces, you make mandazi and sell people to the people at the workplace as they, as they take tea, you sell them mandazi, you do what that is, whatever. The Lord open our eyes that we have some other sources of income. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says, he is the Lord who gives us power to make wealth. I tell you the truth. We need to make wealth. You need to make wealth. If you are not saving any money for investment, child of God, you don't have any money. Yeah. If you're not saving, if at the end of the month you, you don't have, if it, it's you don't have money. That's the truth of the matter. You are child of God. I'm sorry to say, but you could be broke. It, it is highly, it is highly possible that you're broke. That you're broke. It is highly possible. It is it's very likely that you're broke. It is very likely that you're broke. Like. And you know that those of us you, you we are talking about it, we are talking about it in our men's fellowship on Sunday, like those of us who have jobs and what. If suddenly you are fired, if if you were fired, what would happen? If you are suddenly fired, like they tell you, would you continue living the way you're living, driving them? Would you continue living where you live? Would you maintain your wife? <laughs> ah. I thank God my wife doesn't use a lot of makeup, but it is. Would you, you know, if, <laughs> if you were fired? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but, uh, Children of God, these things are funny, but it is serious. Would you maintain, madam? I would start saying, I was thinking that, uh, I was thinking that uh, going to the village isn't a bad idea after all. What do you think? Little <laughs> people, may the Lord bless you a thousand times. May the Lord multiply you a thousand times in the name of Jesus. May the Lord multiply your creativity a thousand times in the name of Jesus. May the Lord open your eyes a thousand times. May the Lord give you opportunities a thousand times in the name of Jesus. May the Lord uh, give you, may the Lord multiply your work ethic. May the Lord multiply my work ethic a thousand times that I will not be lazy. I will not be the lazy man who's always saying there's a lion. You know the Bible says a lazy man says there's a lion in the street. A lazy man is always saying there's a lion in the street. He's always having an excuse. Why he can't do this? Why he can't do this? You know, you can't do this business. Ah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that kind of work. Oh, no. You, you can't. That is dirty. You can't do this. You can't do this. He's always saying there's a lion in the street. May the Lord multiply our determination a thousand times in the name of Jesus. May the Lord open a thousand doors for us in the name of Jesus. May the Lord multiply my productivity a thousand times in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, you need abundance. I tell you, you need abundance. You need multiple sources of income and then since there are those things which are, they are like, they are like vouchers waiting for your money. Since those things are there, then 
You need to deal with what you can control. The leakages. Deal, the leakages you can control. The leakages you can control. The rent you might not. <laughs> National water you can also control a bit, but you shall still pay something. Eh? Uh, Umeme, you can control a bit, but you can, shall still pay something. But you can control. You, you can control something. There are certain things you can control. Sincerely, why do you have to have a buffet at, at your table every day? Like, you're pouring food. You're pouring food. Like, why do you have to cook meat? And they, there are different kinds of meat. There's chicken, beef, what? Why? Why? Is your home a party? You know, you can You know, some of us, you know, you, you find your, 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 your house help has put water on the, on, the, on the charcoal stove and the thing has boiled. It has boiled, 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 boiled. Bathing water, it boils until the charcoal gets finished. Bathing water. But are we together? I, I, I don't know whether me, me some of these things, you know, we need to deal with those, those leakages. Deal with those leakages. And child of God, start saving. Don't don't stop the joke. You know that joke of national NSSF saves for me. You need to stop that joke. You know there are people who have that joke for me NSSF. Okay, you go there and they give you money to. <laughs> to to buy something, you know. There's a time I, you know, when they were building that structure in Barara, I walked there, and I said, "This is my house." <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just uh, said, I'm one of the owners of this house. Okay, and SSF sells for me. Do you know when you shall get it? Child of God, start saving some money. Start saving some money. And don't keep following it. There's also those who save, but then you follow up the savings. Like, there's a friend of mine who broke that car box. He was putting money in the car box, putting money in the car box, then recently, ah, broke the car thing, got all the money out. <laughs> don't break the piggy bank. Ah, hallelujah. Don't follow up the savings, whatever. You know, the money that you're saving is the one you're giving at, at, at funerals and what, you know, no. If somebody, if you have saved your car money and I come to you and I say, please give me that, you boldly look at me, you look me straight in the eye and say, I don't have money. I don't have money. Yeah, because that money is, is now for your future. It is not yours. You have saved it. Yeah, you know. And there are people who, you know, the people who wait for you, the people who call you, the people who call you at the end of the month. Yeah? Do you have those kind of people? The, the ones who time you and they know you're local, you can't lie. They know that salary has come. Then they will call you. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hey, yeah. Things are not okay. Things are not okay. You know. They, they always have a new story, somebody has fallen sick, somebody has, what, their relatives are always falling sick, dying, what, you know. And then you go to your saving. Let me tell you the truth, have a certain portion, have a certain, when you get money, have a certain percentage that is dedicated to charity, to giving, to, 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 to those kind of phone calls. 